Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Look away. <laughs> just getting ready I have my makeup bag right here and I still have not unpacked my makeup since my last trip when I went back home to Buffalo I am actually leaving for another trip on Saturday today's Wednesday I'm going to the Hamptons for two weeks I'm very excited but I had to book my flight through Frontier and if anybody knows Frontier really well you would know that their bags like their flights are cheap but you have to pay like 66 dollars for a bag and it can only be 40 pounds so i don't know how i'm going to pack 40 pounds of my stuff for a two-week trip so while i'm getting ready i just wanted to talk to you guys because so much has changed since the last time i sat down and got to like chit chat with you guys. I mentioned in my very first vlog that I am moving out of Florida, which I still am. I'm so excited to be getting out of here. But right now, if you don't know New York City like real estate, basically the summer is the worst time to move there and like August is the worst month because everyone's moving back into the city after the summer. So it's very expensive. Any apartment that I was looking to get was around $5,000 and I just cannot pay $5,000 for a one bedroom 400 square foot apartment. So I'm just like not really ready to be moving to New York City just yet. Um, I plan on going to New York City around like February now because that's when it is the cheapest there. But I'm still leaving Florida. I am going to be moving back to my hometown, Buffalo, New York, and I'm going to be living there for about six months until I can find a place in New York City and save up a little bit, but I am going to be renting my own place while I'm in Buffalo, which I am so beyond excited for. I found the place and oh my god, it's just so perfect, it's so me, it's in a great area. So yeah, that's what's going on in my life. Normally when I go back home to Buffalo, I'm like, oh my god, get me out of here. I want to go back to Florida. I'm ready to leave this place. But I think it's just from being alone in Florida for so long and not having anyone here. It just made me really realize how good it is to be home and around people that genuinely care about you and love you. But at the end of the day, I will always 100% believe you are going to be your happiest with the people you surround yourself with rather than the place you are. I had to move away to realize that because if I stayed in Buffalo, I would be like, get me out of here. So it's definitely a learning experience moving away, especially by yourself, but it's something i recommend to everybody well i just laid so much information on you guys but basically with this vlog i am headed to the hamptons i mentioned that already i am not really going to the hamptons i'm going to montauk i just say the hamptons because that's what everybody knows but i'm going to montauk for two weeks and i am so so excited it's like my favorite place to travel to in the summer and moose is coming with me so he's gonna go to the beach but yeah i'm about to just get ready and then i'm going to start packing because this time i really want to be prepared also i know i'm like talking so much but i decided that i'm gonna really focus on my youtube channel just because i love youtube so much here's the stuff i've been collecting and I'm going to bring it in my room and we're going to go through some of the stuff. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I never ended up packing yesterday just because I got pretty sick after I ate dinner. I think I got gluten somehow so I didn't start packing but 
it's fine i've kind of just been chilling this morning um i just did my makeup but right now i'm just watching youtube on my tv while i edit it's kind of just been a chill morning and I don't have much planned today. That's fine because I have a lot to do before I prep for my trip. And I'm so excited to go to the Hamptons. Like, I promise one day I will be a rich Hamptons mom. Actually, last night I did prep a little bit. I whitened my teeth and I did like a face mask because I've been like breaking out a little bit like on my chin. I don't know what's going on with that. Why are you smiling? You say hi to the vlog? I know I said this whole entire vlog that I'm gonna start packing, but I'm a procrastinator. So I need to take Moose for a walk anyways, and I'm just gonna get changed. I already have this sports bra on, and then I have the matching leggings that I'm gonna put on. It is actually like a hundred degrees outside right now but I always feel like so exposed when I don't wear like something on my arms. I don't know that might sound really weird but I always like to put like a little thing on. This is just like a random long sleeve but this is what the set looks like. It's so cute. It's been a little bit since I went on my walk. A lot has happened. I feel like today has just been kind of hectic and all over the place. I have had a few phone calls today just about moving and other work things going on. I've been trying to get some work done. I have a meeting pretty soon and then I have a FaceTime call to see my new place. I'm so, so excited to see it. But yeah, I've kind of just been chilling in bed trying to get some work done good news i got the house i just got off the phone with the landlords they're amazing people i got to see the whole entire house it was gorgeous it literally looks like a doll house it's adorable and i'm just so happy i got the house oh my god i was having a little bit of a mental breakdown last night just thinking about leaving Tampa because I've been here for four years and it's just scary leaving somewhere you've been living but anyways I just got changed into my PJs because I wanted to be comfortable today's hair wash day if you're wondering why my hair looks so flat I have had this obsession recently with cutting my hair like I really want to just chop it all off like up to here but I know I would regret that, so I am going to take it slow. I mean, my hair is so healthy right now. I just got it cut literally like two months ago, I think. I was scrolling through Pinterest trying to find outfit ideas for the Hamptons, and I came across this picture of Margot Robbie, and her hair looks so good there, and I think I want to cut mine. I just don't know if I should like do it myself because I'd want layers. Hmm. So first I'm just gonna show you guys some of the cute pieces that I've been collecting. So the first brand that sent me like so many amazing pieces is Solid and Striped. Their stuff is like insane. Like this is a one piece from them and it comes with like this little belt on it and then it's like a very low back. It's so beautiful. And then I also got these pants. These are like so thick and like such good quality and I just think they're so sick and I feel like 
a day on the beach with these like I don't know I'm gonna style them cute so just wait next from solid and striped is just this little white eyelet cover up it's pretty oversized which I like honestly I would wear that cover up with this cute little bikini from them it's just like this little gingham print with a little daisy on it and then the top is just so stunning so cute the last piece from solid and striped is just this gingham dress it's just like this midi dress super long and it's like super stretchy up here and then the back is like open moose okay so solid and striped is definitely an amazing brand for just like any vacation or just like the summer i love that brand and their pieces are amazing quality the next brand is my favorite brand and i did purchase these pieces it's from the brand dish i am just like obsessed with them so i've been saving them for this trip they don't do much in tampa to wear something like this but it's just this this dress is so heavy, I don't even think I could wear it. <laughs> but it's so flowy. It's just, like, beautiful. My favorite part is the little sleeves, and it ties in the back, so it cinches in the waist. But it's just so stunning. Next piece from Dish is just this little black dress. This is more casual, but it goes up on one shoulder and then off on the other. This is kind of like the material. I don't really know what this is called, but very excited to wear this. And then I recently just got dresses from this brand, Hutch. And I just thought that they were so pretty and they were like the perfect summer dresses. It's just like such a beautiful dress. Like I feel like this is going to be so pretty like running around the beach during sunset. It's also from Hutch. This is like my favorite dress that they sent me. So cute. I just love the neckline on this. It's just really flattering because I have like a bigger chest so it kind of just holds them in but it still looks really good. And I just think the pattern of this is so pretty for the summer. And of course, I've talked about this brand so much on my TikTok but it's the brand Bidey. And this little corset comes with a skirt. I have to find the skirt. But I already wore this like so many times, but <laughs> it's just so cute and I'm gonna bring it for when I like go out at night. I swear clothes just keep popping up and like mutating out of nowhere. Like I don't even remember putting this stuff in my closet. I also forgot to show this bikini from um, Bidey that I recently received and it's just like, the cutest little bikini this bikini is just like i showed this on my tiktok too but this bikini is just like the cutest thing i've ever seen my whole life this is like one thing i'm super excited to wear on my little trip so that's basically it for all the pieces that i've been collecting and that i'm really excited to wear so now comes the packing part. I had a lot of stuff packed from when I went to Buffalo, but these are basically all the shoes. I'm bringing just these orange ones. I got these from Amazon. I haven't had the chance to wear them yet, but I think they're just so cute. Then I'm bringing these black slides. These are from Pretty Little Thing, and they're just good basics. And then same thing with these flip-flops. And then these little crochet slides are very cute from Pretty Little Thing. And then I have these green strappy heels. And then just my nude heels that I need a new pair of because they are destroyed thanks to this little shoe eater. These platform Reeboks that I need to clean. And I'm just going to bring some gym sneakers just in case I go for walks with moose or something and then i'm just gonna wear my sambas in the airport but then i'm bringing this cult gaia bag and i'm obsessed with this bag and then i just have this little green pretty little thing bag and then just this little sack 
So that's it for shoes and bags. Now it is accessory time. I'm just going through all of my jewelry. And then this is what I'm gonna be bringing because I know I'm gonna wanna bring a lot of jewelry. And this is just awesome for that. Okay guys, this is what the jewelry box is looking like. I know it looks really crazy right now, but it's very organized. Honestly, I just threw a bunch of random stuff in here because I know I am not gonna wear it all, but I just like to have options. So that's it for the jewelry. Hey guys, so I just finished packing most of my like accessories and everything like that. I am honestly just getting very tired. That's kind of why I wanted to pack early so I could take it day by day. I think tonight I'm just gonna call it a night for the packing and I really wanted to wash like my makeup brushes and my beauty blenders and just like all of my makeup before I bring it but I'm just getting kind of tired honestly so I'm gonna finish the packing vlog tomorrow and I will be back when I'm ready to start packing the clothes I made a mess of my room and I didn't even get to the clothes ah! this should be interesting going through all of my makeup right now and I didn't even realize how much I had. All right, so here is the progress. I organized everything. Then I'm gonna put everything away and pack stuff in these little packing cubes with what I wanna bring to the Hamptons. An hour later, I'm all packed. I have three makeup bags and I just organize them so it's easier when I'm on vacation to figure out where everything is. Oh boy. Good morning guys. So it is the next day. I woke up this morning and got my coffee and then I took Moose for a walk and I put on self tanner last night so I wanted to wash it off and I needed to wash my hair so now I'm just gonna do some skincare. I've been ice rolling every single morning. When I got my facial in the last vlog, she was using these very cold like ice little balls on my face and i told her how i have an ice roller and i was like i just don't know if it does anything and she said that it does if you're consistent with it so i'm trying to be very consistent with my ice roller honestly even if it doesn't do anything it feels amazing and it wakes me up so so we have a very busy day it's the day before we leave i leave tomorrow but i don't leave till later tomorrow so i do have some time tomorrow but i just want to get it all done today just so I'm super prepared and something that I haven't been thinking about is that I have to pack Moose's bag as well because he's coming with me which should be fun. Okay so the skincare is done. I just used my moisturizer, this is the La Roche Jose, and then the snail mucin and my Skin Better Science Alto Advanced Repair Serum. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'm gonna come back. I just finished my makeup. I filmed it on TikTok because I haven't filmed a get ready with me in a while. Now I think I'm gonna cut my hair. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I can't stop thinking about it. So I'm gonna just start by trimming it and then, I don't know. We'll see where, <laughs> where it takes us. If my hairdresser is watching this, please look away. <laughs> Okay hey guys, this is all I'm gonna do for now. I know it might not look too much different, but 
if I want to go even shorter, then I'm just going to go and get it done with layers and stuff. So just did a little trim, but I'm going to blow dry it and style it and then I'll be back. Ugh. So I finished cutting my hair. This is what it looks like. It's not much of a difference, but I just think it looks so much healthier. I definitely want to cut it more, but for now, it looks a lot better than it did. Now is the time that I have been dreading this whole entire vlog, and that I said that I was going to do, but I never did, and it's time to pack. I at least packed all of my makeup and accessories last night, which I showed, but now it's time for the clothes. I think I'm just a little overwhelmed because I have some clothes in my suitcase from my last trip. I have clothes in the laundry. I have clothes just everywhere. So I'm just a little overwhelmed with all this stuff. I'm going to turn on some YouTube and grab a snack, make a matcha, and we're going to start packing. We're going to make it a fun time though, so I don't dread packing. my bin of bikinis. This is all the bikinis I own and I have gotten rid of so many because I just can't keep any more. So if you want me to go through all of these and show you guys my favorite brands and my favorite bikinis, I will definitely do that because I honestly need to go through all of these, especially since I'm moving back to New York. I do not <laughs> need this many bathing suits in New York. <laughs> I'm just packing up some of the bikinis in this little container and before I do another row I just wanted to show you some of them. Here are the suits and I have a few more to pack. Just packed all of my dresses. It looks like it's gonna explode because this dress is just so long and thick but I'm really trying to get everything in here but it's like gonna it doesn't even fit right now it's been a little bit i just finished eating dinner this is what the room is looking like i have two packing cubes in here and then i just started to pack some of my sweaters and sweatshirts these are all the clothes that i'm going to be packing i've just come to realize that i'm just going to have to pay for the overweight bag because there's no way i'm going to be under 40 pounds we are officially done packing. I don't know if you could tell, but this thing is busting at the seams. Like, it is overflowing so much. Like, actually, it is falling out. Like, there is no way this thing is going to close. So now I just have to pick up my room because, obviously, it's a little messy after packing this whole suitcase. So I'm in bed now and I'm actually just going to end off this vlog. I'm so excited to go to the Hamptons tomorrow and I can't wait to be vlogging the full trip. I'm going to start editing this vlog now and I'll probably upload it tomorrow while I'm in the airport. 
thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and seriously thank you so much to anybody that subscribes and that supports me because i love filming youtube videos and yeah i just wanted to sign off and say good night and i love you guys and i will see you in the hamptons